to be about 12 feet by 25. No, that's not right. Never mind, we'll just make it and it'll work. How many um, begonias do you have in oh, the begonia goodness. house? Hundreds, maybe yes. 1,000. Uh, Change of plans. This was going to be a corn patch, but uh, actually if you see, I started digging here, and I realized this is all gravel down just a little bit. It's like this area used to be a driveway, so I'm guessing this is really pretty I mean, it seems really hard underneath when I'm hammering at it. I'm only getting about six inches down. But on top of the surface, it's uh, all rich compost because trees grew over the top of it. So pumpkins will just run across the surface. I'm not so worried about them. Uh, corn, though, stays in one place, and I don't think it's going to like this hard ground all that much. It might do it, but I only have 100 seeds, so I'm not going to risk them on an experiment. And I know. Pumpkins are awesome. So we'll just put in seminal pumpkins through here and they can run and find whatever they want in the ground. Just put a few hills in, put some manure in, let them run. Got some half composted sheep manure. Go throw down. Each one of these gets some of that. That'll make the pumpkins happy. We've got worms in here too. Nice living soil. These are seminal pumpkin seeds. And I have been kind of breeding my own variety of seminal pumpkins now for um, since 2015, I guess. Got a longer neck variety. And I've been kind of keeping it going. And I've, I'm saving from a whole bunch of different lines and different pumpkins. And I'm sort of making a land race. So basically letting them all interbreed and interbreed and then saving the best ones of them and planting them up again. And we see what we get. I'm gonna do some intentional crosses once I really, really, really know what I want. But it's been kind of sketchy. My breeding program has been off and on on three different pieces of property. So it's not really a good, I haven't had a really good long-term test yet. My friend Wendy sent me these blue Hubbard squash. Yes, I am trying Hubbard squash again. So I saved this middle pumpkin hill for these. They all get destroyed by vine borers. And if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of vine borers, I am so thinking of just getting an airplane and seven dusting everything just so I can get some pumpkins. Before I do something drastic like that, if you have a good vine borer cure that isn't uh, related to voodoo or sacrifices or anything like that, let me know in the comments. This is Cucurbita maxima, unlike the uh, seminal pumpkins, which are Cucurbita machata. And so they are not going to cross with each other, so I don't have to worry. I can plant this right in the middle and I don't have to worry about it. It's, it's not gonna cross. But 
the Cucurbita maxima and particularly Hubbard squash are like a magnet for vine borers, more so than seminal pumpkins. They're actually used as a catch crop just to catch, just for something for the pests to go eat, which I really don't like because I love these squash. They're gorgeous. I mean, blue Hubbard squash is probably one of the prettiest squash in the entire world and it's one of the most difficult to grow. So I've been struggling with it since I got here. This will be my second try. Babette sent me some the first time around and then uh, this time Wendy sent me some more. So we'll see. I'm gonna keep planting them and uh, maybe we'll get a resistant variety or something magical like that without voodoo. Thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful Independence Day. I celebrated the 4th of July by going to the immigration office today and they are not going to deport me yet. So things are looking pretty good on that front. Um, I didn't get the corn done. I wanted to plant corn today. It was just this thing in my head. I was going to plant corn today, but this area just didn't look like it. Once you start digging, sometimes you realize things. And I realized that uh, corn on top of a gravel driveway is probably not the best. But there's enough material here that I think those pumpkins are going to run. We got a lot of rain yesterday. It's going to be beautiful. And uh, I'll just take you along as they grow. And until next time, God bless America. Hey, look at what showed up on top of the bean trellis here. It's a beanie baby. <laughs>